An I-Team investigation is putting the spotlight on cannabis here in Connecticut. Right now, it is still illegal to buy or sell for recreational use, but that is not stopping hundreds of people from getting their hands on marijuana each weekend at an event called High Bazaar. And this private party actually happens in Hamden. Chief investigative reporter Matthew Campbell got invited and is sharing what he found. On a January morning with sub-zero wind chill, hundreds clogged the streets off of Sherman Ave in Hamden to get into this unassuming industrial building. When they exited, they left with this. Drinks and edibles, really stuff that I can't get at the dispensary. The coffee is pretty good. Actually, it's in the sugar and the cream. Since legal dispensaries are not set to open in Connecticut until much later this year, we have the same questions you probably have. What's going on inside this building and is it legal? This is High Bazaar. It's described as a private party. The video you're seeing is from their public Instagram page. True to the definition of bazaar, this is like a marketplace. Different exhibitors showcase art and apparel. There's music. All coming together because of one reason and one reason only, the plants. Kind of a way to build the entire community while using cannabis at, at its core. Joseph Raymond and Cody Roberts are the co-founders of High Bazaar. They tell us this is a community of small marijuana growers when compared to the larger corporate dispensaries. Think of how craft beer makers operate mainly on a smaller and local scale. Since Connecticut legalized recreational marijuana in July, people have been attending High Bazaar. We were invited by the founders, but when we showed up last Saturday, their landlord asked us to leave. Sometimes the cameras can scare some of uh, medical patients and the veterans. Using the video found on their Instagram, we're going to show you how this works. The founders say that there are exhibitors in the building. These are the people with booths. They pay High Bazaar a fee to set up their exhibits. The founders say it runs anywhere from $20 to $200. The people browsing are patrons. Medicinal patients and veterans get in for free. All others entering this tent pay $20. You're touching, you're smelling, you're, you're, there's a hands-on, very hands-on approach to it. So how does someone actually walk out with cannabis? It's still illegal to sell or purchase recreational marijuana in Connecticut until late this year. Now to get around that, we learned the exhibitors at High Bazaar use a gifting system. Raymond takes us through his gifting process. I gotta show you, my friend, what I've been telling you about all week, these red Tommies. Oh, look at that, that's beautiful. Look at the indica, look at the smell of that. It's got that mochi, nice mochi smell to it. Nice, uh, nice indica, couch lock you up later on today. Very medicinal, very uh, medicinal. That's on me, my friend. That's, Thank you, brother. That so is, check this out. That's for you. Thank you. So check this out. I also uh, wanted to share something with you. It's called lava cake, and it's also an indica, and it's medicinal, and it's good for anxiety and for pain. You know how I and love those cakes, that, brother, man. So much, man. Oh my God, it's like savory, man. Like that thing smells like a like a steak on a Sunday. He says that's how gifting works, but not everyone who walks through these doors comes with cannabis to gift to others. So we asked Matt, a medicinal patient from Wallingford, to explain his gifting process. If you see something you like, you talk to them about it, and you know, they'll say, hey, you know, if you want this, you know, go ahead, take it. You know, and if you want to make a donation, go ahead. If not, you know, you could still have it. I mean, you could walk away without you know, donating or gifting any sort of money and you can just walk with it? Uh, not everything, you know, obviously. Every vendor is different is, you know, the best way I could describe that. The state actually has gifting guidelines for marijuana. Individuals may gift adult use cannabis to others, but may not sell it. Gifting does not include instances where marijuana is given away at the same time as another transaction between the same parties. Medical marijuana products cannot be gifted to non-patients either. It's also important to note the amount of cannabis people are going home with. The state allows possession and use of up to 1.5 ounces of cannabis. Residents may also store up to 5 ounces in a locked container. We follow the laws and we allow what the patient or recreational allotment is. And as long as everyone is in the means of the law, everything is good there. But is everything really good? Coming up at 6 o'clock, you're going to hear from police and lawmakers both weigh in on what's going on each weekend. So you're going to want to stay with us for that. For now, live here in studio, Matthew Campbell, Channel 13 News.